Hello everyone! Today I've decided to go ahead and share with you guys a little thing that I've been, uh, realized I can do. It kind of helps me with world building for at least a specific uh, location called the Blue Coast in my D&D &D campaign world. So yeah, I am a DM. I've been DMing for a little over a year now, kind of. Like, off and on. I've, I've got a group I'm doing more consistently with. But basically, I'm using this game. Now, if any of you recon might recognizes this right now, you are a Chad. Because, uh, this game is great. It's pretty awesome. Like, I've mostly seen a YouTuber called Baron play it, and then I myself decided to get it. It's like It was like 15 bucks on Steam. But it's called Kingdoms and Castles. And on here... Uh, I'm using taking little screenshots by pressing F12 on the game to get like little shots of different places like for this place the Ch trade district in this city and of course if you want to read the the lore and everything you're more than welcome to and heck if you want to use this kind of location for your world too I, I guess you can as much as you want I, mean, I don't really have any copyright on this world well I guess I don't know well, I'm not really I'm not making money off of it at least I'm probably not going to. But yeah, they, in, like this world, I got like three royal families I put in this. Azulius Caesar is the, the king. I hope you all like that name. Then he has advisors, the Council of the Blue Coast, uh, consisting of four families. The Silver Bonds, they are important. Hedgewaters, they are important. The Blue Drons, they are Dragonborns. All blue. Light blue, dark blue, whatever. And then the Dutchmans, because I figure that's kind of a cool name. And that's all the information for all of uh, those people in that family. And if any of my players are watching this, you're, you're, it's fine. You're not going to see any kind of in-depth story stuff that's going to spoil the rest of the campaign and everything. This could help you, though, with the maps and that stuff. Because the first district, the party came in through here. And I uh, took other screenshots of the little special places like the tavern and in the game here you know I'm just going to get to the game and show you guys in the blue coast itself and then right after this uh, I want to pause yeah this uh, this is Cognitious Island right here you can see it on the bottom left hand corner I named that island but uh that's another island we'll get to there and then there over here uh, this is this is that place I had that screenshot of for the Blue Coast. So you can see it, this is called the Blue Coast Tavern, and over here, Blue Coast Tavern. Uh, the the name Miggleton Megatron. Yeah, he still he still works there, but why he's on the other side of the entire island? Okay, but yeah, that's the. I just took the top name for these bars and such. Where, where's everyone else that works in this bar? Hmm. Well, there's like two of them. Oh, and then this one. Chilling at the market. But yeah, I, I took like the top name. They randomly generate names, so... For designing your world, it, it kind of comes up with names for characters for you. Yeah, I mean, the voices and everything, personality, you can just kind of come up with that. Like, since he's right there, right where most adventurers come in from around the world, I just say, since he is a 64-year-old man, he's an old man with many years of experience running a bar. Just just simple information that I would need to know to roleplay scenarios in that bar. The next location is Blue Coast Church and Library. And just, just basic services that could be expanded upon more later, but there is... I mean, there's this place for all the holy people. In fact, one of my players is playing a dwarf paladin of a small god of vengeance called Hor, which we make lots of innuendo jokes about all the time. We are we're a D&D &D group after all, it's, that's what we do. And uh, this place, which is known as the Blue Coast College of the Gods. I put a little G because I'm a Christian man. Only the big G gets the gets the capital G. But yeah, and then they have a little Pantheon library, library with information on all the gods and such, which I actually have uh, written down here. They're in the Holy District. I'm so creative, aren't I? 
But yeah, I, I, that's kind of what one little thing I do. Oh yeah, and once you uh, once you get the images by pressing F5, you can um uh, or not F5, F12. There's a little screenshot captured down there, and if you want to try and find them, to be able to post them in like Google Docs, because that's what I'm using. Yeah, ignore that. That's the wooden town we're going to get to. Here, I'm going to... i got to figure out how to get to the... Here, files. Wait a minute. File explorer. And just kind of... I'm going to go to this PC. Just, just search up screenshots. Screenshots searching that. Y you get that, it'll bring you to the screenshots pretty quickly. Don't make a liar out of me, PC. I built you to be fast. It's fine, but it, it's in uh, it's in Steam. I kind of looked up how to get to it, and I just learned, just look up screenshots. It's where you're going to find them. And yeah, they are right here. I'm probably just going to wait for it to finish loading so it doesn't freak out. Okay, once you get that, that, that's your little... That's a lot of screenshots. Whoops. Do, do, do. Yeah, you can, you can right-click, copy, and then paste. Paste. Hang on. Oh wait. Drag it in. That's duh. Okay, that's right. I goofed a little bit. I'm blonde, for those of you who don't know. For those of you who take offense, le learn to take a joke. But yeah, and then you can just resize it, make it smaller. It's like a minor place, which that isn't. Of course, I already... I don't need that anymore. But yeah, that, that's a little thing that I've uh, just recently started doing. And like, the, these little th uh, cottages, the homes and stuff, whatever, those are just filling up space where people live in whatever town you've got. This is like the capital. world happened to the flag? Why is it white on there? It's, it's a proper color right there, but whatever. It, it, I find this game to be very easy for building places and such. I mean, look, I even have a forge run by... Oh, it's Peter. I think I, I had to, like, come up with a name for this guy on the spot, which I should have just written that down. His name is Peter. I ended up naming it Kevin, so you know what? Uh, I'm just going to retcon that real quick. Oh, and I got more taverns over here. And I find it's easier to keep track of everything in here with the screenshots. Oh, and the Imperial Barracks. There's also another barracks all the way over here that I'm using as the Blue Swords Barracks. i, I got to change the name of it to Guild. Eh. I'm using it, that now as an Adventurer's Guild. In the southern parts of town. Oh yeah, and then this is of course one of the other districts I have written about. Um, only like one of the party members went over here, and that was the dwarf actually. He met his uh, uncle Skyver Wakebeard. That wasn't a very good Skyver voice. I wasn't ready. Then again, I'm a DM. I'm never ready. Anyways, uh, I guess that's it. If anyone wants me to go into like more detail, I definitely can. This is just a little thing I've kind of realized I could do. And also, I don't want to open the mat. Also, uh, Blue Coast is just a, not the Blue Coast, the Kingdoms of Castles game. It's just really fun. In fact, oh yeah, I just got Sea of Thieves. I might do that later on my channel, but uh, yeah, actually, let me check.
How much do you cost, kingdoms and castles? Tell me. You know, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna look it up, just so you guys can see how much it costs. Oh wow, it's like 10 bucks. Alright, now, that's actually cheaper than when I bought it. It was 15 when I got it. But, yeah, that's, uh... Oops. Okay, whenever I am going through this, I keep forgetting that WASD does not scroll up and down. It only... It only does that in the game. But yeah, this is a pretty fun game. If anyone wants me to play this game on the channel, I definitely will. But also, there is one uh, YouTuber, Baron Von Games, I believe he is the one who already played through this game, so check that out if you want. Oh yeah, and also for the customization that you can have. The, the one thing I will mention that I really li like about this game for building uh, towns and cities is... I mean, you can have a little bit of customization for the land, but it's pretty much randomly generated. In fact, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and... Just quit. And I want to make sure... Okay, yeah. That's fine. Uh, let's do a new one. Standard mode. No, I'm not going to do standard mode. I'm just going to do creative mode. Which is just sandbox. And as you can see, like... I mean, the, the land that was on it... On the menu is... Showing. And that is low-key, uh, floppy swastika, so I'm gonna switch that up real quick. I'm not, I'm not blonde enough to want that. Oh, yeah, and the size? Large. Or random. I like large. But, uh, oh, yeah, and then type could be land, island, or random. I mean, just, just land would just be a... Oh, yeah, and then use this to change. It... Hang on. Okay, this almost looked like that floppy swatsko thing again. This game isn't evil, guys, trust me. I, I know. But, yeah, I mean, that's gonna keep changing the land so you find something you really like or figure out how to, I guess, write whatever you want. And this is what 42069 gets you. I wish I could zoom out more. But oh look, we got a little lake. Uh, another little lake. And yeah, little bay area. Little forest. Such. You can, you can almost build. Like, oh yeah, if you, if you want to like build an entire continent. But like this, is, obviously this isn't big enough for a continent. So then I would say, oh yeah, accept, I'm going to accept that real quick. Yeah, 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 this is fine. We're Castleburg, this is the entire continent of Castleburg. You can kind of choose where, like, I, my recommendation for having a entire continent would be choose where you want the main capital of this continent to be. I say, let's put it over here. Say there's like a main continent over there, or main city over there. You can use these little things as towns. Oh, right. Have to build the roads. Actually, hang on. There. We gotta... I mean, these roads are leading somewhere, and I think we all know where they're leading. So I don't, if, if I don't know, you might have figured it out by now, but we're on creative mode. Build for free. Oh, hang on. That's right. We can just get rid of all of this immediately. And now we can build for free. 
kind of just figure out where maybe you want random towns to be or even like maybe figure out what kind of building you might want to use as like maybe this could be like representation of a port town in like the bay of a continent maybe it has like little fish fishing towns and villages surrounded around it In fact, these things could just be cities, and maybe this could be like towns. Small little villages could be what those are. Maybe this could be like a town that's on the way. Gotta have a road that leads. I mean, you know where. To Rome. And then, of course, this little road leads to the port town, the port city of, of whatever. Of course, then, if you do that, you could take the screenshots of different parts here and just say this is the port city of whatever. Oh, yeah, by the way, the, there are seasons in this game. It is snowing right now, so if you want to be like a northern area, a northern place, you could just wait for it to be wintertime. Speed it up to make it go faster. I mean, yeah, those, those are just little mini ideas. Ah, what, what do they want? What do the advisors want from me? Hmm. Growing our kingdom with some roads, then houses. Nah. Hmm. Yeah, good day. The military person is a woman. I don't know why. Hmm. And then this spring, good day, sir. We'll need farms to feed our work. <laughs> no, we don't. We're in creative mode. Anyway, uh, you know what? I, I might have just blew into the mic a little bit. I'm sorry if I did. Anyway, see, I, I'm sure most of y'all pretty much get what I'm saying here. Like, little possibilities you could do with this game to build your D&D worlds, the various cities. And heck, you could maybe make one in creative mode that just is the world map. And then go back to the normal mode and just create whatever towns and stuff you have, you want. Just, like, all the towns, various villages, and the main city, of course. Wherever your party's gonna be, you can build those in Kingdoms of Castles uh, the normal way. And the one thing that I really like about it, especially with some new additions they had to it somewhat recently, I don't know how recent it is because it's been a while since I've been on, but they have fish now, and, like, people can go fishing you know, like little fishing huts, like what I have in the Blue Coast. We don't need to save that game. Get, go away, Rome. Your time is over. But yeah, also it has a really relaxing song, about really relaxing music, weather effects, and all that. It's just, it's overall a pretty, it's a fun game. So maybe you don't want to do it to build your DD worlds, it's fine. You can do it just to pass the time. But I started doing it, and when I created Blue Coast, I was like, ah, I really love this city. This little setting here. I just, I want to... I'm Then I just started imagining my DD players. Not the ones I have right now. But, like, like a couple years ago, I just started imagining using this as a DD world. And I was like, I have to do it. So I did. Um, that's all for today. If you like this, if you want to see more content like this, or if you want to see like actual other gaming content, I am doing some of that on my channel right now with a game called Children of Morta, which is it's actually it's pretty epic. Really fun game so far. Very story driven, and every time you die in one of the dungeons, it drives the story forward even more by giving you some info on what's going on at the house for the family. Which is good for me, because we're getting lots of story real quick. 
because uh, I'm kind of I'm, I'm not the most skilled gamer in the world. I mean, I'm much better at games like this, where it's just relaxing. Occasionally, Vikings and or a dragon might attack. By the way, that happens. It'll force you to build defenses and stuff, which I like. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I forgot. The, I was about to mention that one thing I like about this game is that. In playing the normal way with not in creative mode, it will force you to build a city that makes sense. In which, like, you'll have it set up in a way where it functions almost like an actual city would or could. And you'll have pretty much all the info you would really need to tell your players how it works. So if you have any players that want to get, like, into the nitty-gritty exactly how everything works, uh, you, have a, you have some base info. Of course, you got players like that, you might want to tell them to chill. So I kind of like this little bit of land here. Hang on. Like, I like how it has this little island here and this coming from, from the ocean. That's a lot of fish over here. Wow. But yeah, you know, that, that's going to be all for today. It's just so much water right here. But yeah, okay. So, sorry, sorry, I'm dragging on now. That, that's going to be it for today, guys. So, until next time, when either I'm probably playing Children of Morta again, I'm going to try and get through that and then maybe move on to a different game. I was thinking of buying the Jump Force game, but there's so many bad things said about it and, like, it costs money now. But I remember having fun playing it with friends. I don't know. I, I'll figure something out. I'm probably going to do... Like, I have a lot of other games I could play right now anyway, so I'm just going to do that instead, most likely. After Children of Morda. Alright, well, that'll be all. Until next time. Wrong, wrong button. This ends the recording. <laughs>